It's my pleasure to address this gathering of aviation professionals, students, and supporters at Utah's inaugural aeronautics conference. When I was a young boy working on a farm in the sugar beet fields in my hometown of Garland up north a little bit, the airplanes flew overhead on their way to Malad. I wanted to be up in the air clouds with them rather than in the sugar beet field. Well, I didn't think I would have the opportunity to fly because in those times, two years of college was required before a college pilot license and our family could not afford college for me and I didn't have the change. Fortunately for me, the pilot training program man came by and was started by the United States government to try to develop new new pilots and I qualified for a scholarship, received my private pilot license in 1941. More pilots were needed for the war effort and I signed up with the Army Air Corps in 42. They sent me to Utah State and then on for more training. In 1944, I earned my U.S. Army Air Corps wings at the same time my Royal Air Force wing. After receiving my wings, I was sent to South America to fly cargo in support of the war effort. After the war ended, I volunteered for the Berlin Airlift in 48 and went immediately to Germany. Early in the days of the airlift, on a break from flying flour and coal into Berlin, I took movies and photos of the airplanes landing at Temple Off Central Airport in Berlin. When I took the photos, I noticed a group of children standing by the barbed wire fence surrounding the airport. We talked to each other for almost an hour. And I was impressed with their gratitude for freedom and their desire for us to keep going with the airlift. If we lose our freedom, we may never get it back, they said, and they meant it. As I turned to leave, a voice of my head said, go back and give them your two sticks of gum. I broke the gum into small pieces, they smelled the wrapper, passed it around. I promised them I'd drop some the next day, tied to hang your parachutes. They said, how will you know, it? how will we know it's your airplane? I answered, I'll wiggle my wings like this. This is how I got the name Uncle Wiggly Wings and the Berlin Chocolate Pilot. C-54 is a beautiful airplane. And it's flying is just like an office upstairs flying over towns. And it's a beautiful airplane. It's a real freedom. It's the ultimate freedom to be able to change your position and respect the sky and the earth and where you are. Attitude, altitude, gratitude, and serve before self. Put your, put your feet on the path that leads to happiness. Little things add up to big things. Happiness does not come from material goods. I believe it comes from doing something for someone else to make their life better. Thank you.